Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, I am going to discuss an end-to-end execution process flow diagram for an IT project. Uh, so two things I am going to cover. One is this complete end-to-end uh, -end diagram which you see on my screen. And second, if I need to create one, what options we have in PowerPoint, how we can create quickly another one. So let's start. So you see that's a starting point and this whole uh, process flow diagram I have put into four stages. One is requirement, second is design, the third is coding and fourth is testing. So I have created this uh, for a waterfall methodology. If you want to create for agile one, there will be little tweaks to it. So I have another video coming in the next few days where I'll be creating a process flow diagram for agile as well. You can come back to my channel and, and get that video as well. For now, in this video, I'm going to cover this uh, waterfall methodology, how this end-to-end -end process flow diagram works. So let's start. So that's my starting point where I'm talking about the requirements. We have a business requirement. And once you have uh, the team is having the business requirement, they will go for a clarification. And once the clarification is given, the estimation has to be submitted. The estimation will be reviewed by the stakeholders. And then I have put a various quality checks here. And the first quality check is if you see the quality gates. So first quality check is estimation OK. If it is OK, we move ahead. If it is not OK, then we have to refine the estimate based on the feedback given. Now the next part is that we know we need to draft the requirement. So when we are drafting the requirement, we have to draft the requirement for both functional as well as non-functional. So it's a draft and refine. So it's kind of a iterative process, uh, iterative process where you have to draft and you have to refine. Once your requirement is in place, then you move ahead with the architecture and design. Uh, and that's my design phase. So once your design is ready, your architecture is ready, you go to a review meeting with the stakeholders. You review with them if your design is okay, your architecture is okay, you move ahead either on the testing side of flow or either on the dev side of the flow. I'm going to cover both side of it. And if not, then you go the incorporate the feedback. So let's discuss the testing part of it. Once the design is ready, the testing team will be creating a test plan and a strategy. They will go for a review. If the strategy is okay, plan is okay, they move ahead with the test design and review. If not, they have to incorporate the feedback. Once test design is ready, they will go and for review. If the design is okay, then they go and ready for testing. The testing can be started. If not, they have to incorporate the feedback. So let's come back here what development team does when the design is okay. They move to this path and they start with the coding. So they start with the coding, the unit testing and defect fixes. So the iterative process follow is here the peer review. Uh, the code has to be reviewed by their peer, their leads, their technical excellence people. And as well as they have to maintain the standards. Whatever standards has been defined in the project, they have to comply with that. Once the code is ready to deploy, you will have a deployment checklist. You have to make sure that unit testing is done, defects are closed, standards are followed. So there's another checkpoint here to check the quality. If this is ready to deploy, you move ahead and deploy into queue environment. If no, then it's a iterative process. You have to fix the issues. You have to fix the observation. You have to fix the feedback. Once it is moved to promote to queue environment, then you look at the sanity testing results. The QA team will do a sanity testing. If sanity is passed, the testing can be kicked off. If it is fail, it will again go back and you know the, those uh, feedback has to be fixed. Now we move to testing phase. We'll have a system testing, we'll have an integration testing, and it's a sequential thing. If results are okay for system and integration, it can move to regression. If not, the defect has to be fixed here. Then we move to regression testing, the same thing. If we have a quality check here, if results are okay from regression testing, we can move to non-functional testing. If no, the defect has to be fixed. We move to non-functional testing, everything looks okay from performance wise, volume wise, everything looks okay. We move ahead for UAT, a user acceptance testing. If not, then the defect has to be fixed. So this is kind of a multiple quality gates in your process. If UAT is okay, so that's your last step where you have to hand over your product to your run operations team. You'll be ready for deployment. The deployment continue and your process ends here. So this is my complete end-to-end -end process flow diagram. This works for any waterfall metallurgy project. You see a various quality checks here. You can see a various documents are being created throughout the process. This is this uh, brown icons are showing my process. This blue one is showing the document which I'm creating. And these are my quality checks. So I'm sure this can be adjusted to your need. If you need a minor changes, feel free to do so. Now let's look at the second part of this video. If you need to create one, how you can do it. So let me go to a blank slide and I'll just quickly tell you how you can do it. So we have an option here, insert and go to shapes. 
and we have various icon here so if you can look at it my end-to-end uh, -end process through diagram I have put an icon for process I have a put an icon for decision making I have a put icon for documents a multiple document a single document I have put an icon for termination so it's a very simple you just use these icons based on your uh, logical steps and just put them together and this is how you'll be able to create it it's very easy but for if you want to get one for your IT project end-to-end -end execution process flow diagram please feel free to use it it's a complete editable version put on the share path you can download and use it